Okay, you see the people taking photos? So this. Oh, that feels good. I think I'm gonna go over here because uh see takoyaki. Okay. Oh god, I don't know what I did. Good afternoon from Osaka. So I'm just arriving here from Kyoto. I'm at the Shin Osaka uh, subway station. I'm gonna take Shin Osaka into the city. So let's go. Okay, now I need to take the Mitsusuji line here. Subway Mitsusuji. Okay. So my Ikoka card should work here. Ah. Okay. I had to use both because I just got off of the JR. Wow, I gotta say, this is a really cool subway station. And there's like a really cool eatery food court here. Alright, my Akoka card should work. Okay, through. Perfect. Now, we need platform one. Okay, to Namba. We're going to platform one here. It has been a long day of travel, so I'm looking to get to my Airbnb, but once I get to Namba, I have to take a 12 minute walk. I could take a six minute, I could cut that down to six minutes. I have to take another subway. Just, I don't know if it makes sense. It might just be better to walk. So it looks like we ride it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven stops. So from my understanding, Osaka is Japan's second largest city behind Tokyo. And there's supposedly really good food, nightlife, all of that, especially food. If it's apparently a foodie city, so I'm definitely, I think I'm a foodie. Or maybe I just like to eat, I don't know. I'm one of the two. can get a seat sitting down. These Japan videos have been lots of transit, but it's a, it's an exciting, confusing, energetic thing here to do this. Okay, exit 11, here we go. It's exciting, confusing, energetic, fun, lively. It's been quite a challenge, but I've, I think I've finally gotten the hang of the uh, transport, uh, transportation here in Japan. Ikoka card, bang. It's about uh, two dollars for that ride, not bad. It was a pretty long ride, so, you know, relative. Maybe about 20 minutes or so. Okay. All right, got a 12 minute walk, about 900 meters. My bags, about 100 degrees Fahrenheit, real feel. But you know what, we're gonna get there, and I'll see you at the Airbnb. Okay, well I said I'd see you at the Airbnb, but it took me down this walking street. Very similar to the one in Kyoto, near uh, Nikishi Market. It's like similar, like almost exactly the same. And it's quite crowded and I've got all my stuff. So, yeah. But hey, it is what it is. We gotta get there. Okay. I'm gonna take this really fun walk to this walking street. Then I'll see you at the Airbnb. We are here. So, gotta say, this looks pretty nice. Okay, I don't know what's going on there. Let's just look at the bathroom first. Wait, did I just automatically flush? Wow, it really did. Ooh. All right, so nice big bathroom here. Do I have a sh curtain, shower curtain? Am I gonna get wet? Yeah, I'm probably gonna get wet. Oh, okay, interesting. It's like a walk-in shower, so it doesn't matter. Oh, that is so interesting. Okay, toilet, all of it. It's like the whole thing is like a shower room. It's interesting. Okay, first and foremost, that needs to come on because it's very hot. Okay. Sorry guys, this is not a great room tour. Let me get myself oriented here. Lights malfunction here. Oh 
Oh god, what did I do? Oh god, I don't know what I did. Hopefully I didn't like sound the alarm or something. I really hope that's the aircon. Okay. Well, guys, I don't know. I'm not sure how to turn on this light. Oh, it just takes a minute. Okay. Well, guys, my gosh, I don't know how I'm going to edit this, but look at a nice size room here. Aircon does not appear to be on. It's all in Japanese, so I'm going to have to figure that out. Oh, okay, well here's an aircon. Uh, okay. Blast it. Okay, well, we've got double bed here. Bingo bango. Nice TV. Outside space. Uh, place to uh, do your to dry your laundry if you want to dry your laundry I think and that's the view so I'm very happy with this because I'm only spending like I'm spending under $40 a night for this I think it's like $39 a night for this room which in Japan is a steal so I'm gonna sit down for a second because I've had a crazy day I've been walking all day then probably gonna go get a drink some food and I'll take you with me. I planned on going out to Donsabury Street tonight, which is like a fun place to get a beer and some food, but thunder and lightning plus rain now. So maybe I wait a little bit. It is like uh, past six, but I was looking forward to a nice relaxing meal, meal, beer, but hey, this is where fate has taken us. So, <laughs> I'm gonna wait it out, or see you in the morning, we'll see. All right guys, well thankfully, it stopped raining, so I'm gonna walk over to Dantanbury Street right now, and yeah, see what that's about. Okay, well despite it having just rained pretty hard, I would say it's pretty lively here. What is, uh, what is today? Oh, it's Saturday, okay. So I'm expecting it to be pretty crazy. But uh, look at this, 12th floor, beer rush, or B rush, I don't know. Maybe it's B rush or beer rush, I don't know. Either way, I'm sure it's fun. Okay guys, so I don't know if this is Dantanbury or Dotarai, I don't know. We'll have to see, but I think what I feel like doing is walking down here anyway. I was gonna go, I have on my map Dantanbury, but maybe we can get there this way, so. Yeah, it's quite busy. Yeah, I think we can get there this way. Game Sui. Yeah. Wow. Oh wow, there's so much karaoke here. These are amazing, by the way, the 10 yen coins. So like in Kyoto and now Osaka, it seems like these like malls or like these strips, walking strips. I wouldn't call them the walking street. I would say they're strips of restaurants and stores that are like indoor. These are very popular. These are all over. In fact, they're, I've seen like five of them now. So yeah, I don't want to keep using this, like creating content around these because I've done, I've, caught, I've shot quite a bit of footage on this style of uh, indoor walking street, walking mart, walking strip, I don't know what you want to call it. So with that in mind, let's walk down this street because this looks fun. Uh, it seems to be some very popular restaurants here. People lining up, I've noticed. Yeah. 
It's like uh, yakitori. And earlier today for my Kyoto video, I ate Kobe beef for the first time. And that was uh, insane. Absolutely insane. Just look at these like traditional doors here. See, it's so cool. There's incense burning. I was smelling something here and it smells incredible. Oh, you can see, I'm not sure what's happening here. But, ooh, it smells really good. Okay. Ooh. Oh, that feels good. <coughs> so this area is supposed to have like a pretty crazy like bar scene, nightlife scene, eating scene. Lots of cool photos to take at night. I've read that you want to come here at night. To really experience it. So now I would kindly ask you to hit the subscribe button. That would really help me out. It would really mean a lot to me. And it allows me to continue making these videos. So thank you very much. Oh man, I've been enjoying my time in these book offs. I've been enjoying my time here in Japan generally, but uh, they're just really cool. I can't read any of the books, but they're really fun to look at. This uh, stretch of indoor shopping continues. And we've got some like formal shops here, but down here is where Google is taking me for downtown Bury Streets. So I'm expecting to see something down here. And take a look at how many take a look at how many people are here. Oh, goodness, crazy! Wow. Okay, this looks like Shibuya Crossing. I think I'm walking into madness here. <laughs> ah, I see, I see. This is the uh, pictures I see online. Okay, no wonder. Ah, look at this. With, let me just pan around here, very try to do it very slowly. Dotsonbury. There it is. We'll go down there. And then uh, over here as well. Wow, this is crazy. I don't know which way to go first. Okay, is this whole area Dotsonbury Bury Streets? I'm sorry, I'm pronounced I'm butchering the pronunciation here. I don't know. I see a sign. You saw the sign over there that said Dotson Bury. Wait a second. Hold on. What is going on down here? Okay. So a bunch of people are hanging out here. Oh, it's a riverboat. Oh, 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 oh. I see. Okay. So we're currently on a bridge. It doesn't even feel like it. Oh yes, okay, you see the people taking photos? Of this. Getting in people's way here, but look at this. Oh God. Not sure what the significance is, but I've seen this online. Okay. All right guys, so walked over there, took a few photos for Instagram, follow me there by the way, after you subscribe to the channel. And now, I think I'm gonna go over here, because, uh, oh, sorry. I don't know what is happening there, but uh, yeah, according to the map, that's down to Bury. But according to the sign, maybe this is Dantabury? I don't know. Let's find out. To tell you, there's a real uh, character to Osaka so far. It's, uh, that's how I would describe it. Yeah. There's a charm. There's a character to Osaka here. For sure. 
say not quite as clean as Tokyo, but still very clean. Probably cleaner than most cities. Oh, very popular restaurant here. It's an interesting name for a bar. Sex machine. Huh. Soba baby. Osaka night food. I actually think the other stretch is better. Well there's even a Dantonbury Hotel which looks super freaking cool. Okay. It's interesting symbolism. Huh. Okay. Hey guys, well I walked to the end of this downtown brewery and you know what? I've come to the conclusion. I think I can finally answer the question. So area is downtown brewery. And this is a quieter stretch of it. Looks so cool. I don't know how much it would be to ride one of those or like where you do it, but I'm sure you can like drink. Maybe you can drink on those. I don't know, but oh, sorry. But it seems very cool. Okay, I'm looking for like an appetizer, like a takoyaki, and uh, or what are those little things? They're like the little balls that they like fry up, and a beer. I think. If I do eat tonight, that's what I'm gonna have. Apparently this is takoyaki that you line up for. But I think this one is what we're gonna go with. Hello. Do a four? Uh, is this like the original one? Okay. Interestingly enough, this one, it's called Junk, has uh, higher reviews on Google than this one, which is called Kura Kura. And it's got a massive line. So, here's what it looks like, guys. Oh, the lighting here. Here's what it looks like. So these are like balls. I got the original that have uh, octopus in it. So, the, uh, Give it a rip here, guys. Open. And uh, spicy takoyaki. Okay. Ooh, it's boiling hot. Oh, it's gonna melt my face off. Oh, it's so hot. Heat wise. Very seafoody, fishy taste. Let me try another one. This is the name if you want to come to it. Junk Takoyaki. Oh, it's good. I can't say. I've had anything in each. I've never had anything like this. So yeah, it's so hot. I need to get a proper bite. I've also never had octopus. It's a little scary to me. Here's the octopus. Oh, it tastes good. Oh, it tastes really good. Ooh. Oh, it tastes really good. It's had that seafood taste, of course. It has the seafood taste, but it's not crazy. Mm, this is good. 
So, first takoyaki. So that, the appeal for that one that I just had, the junk takoyaki, was like $2.50. It's like 3.80 yen, so worth it, worth it. And now I can say I've had takoyaki. I have to say, the octopus, it was not super fishy. It was like a chickeny taste. Really good. So this area that I'm in, which is really the only unexplored area I've, of uh, downtown Burry I've been to yet, is uh, even crazier and wild here. So, yeah, easy to get lost here. Too much to ask to get just sit down and have a beer though. I mean, everything is just jammed. I should have known. I mean, it's Saturday night, it just stopped raining. Everybody's thinking the same thing, you know? Look at this. It's just like, there's a lot of character here in Osaka, I would say. I mean, look, there's just a cow hanging. And then, like, there's like a bull head here. Like, this is really interesting. Really, really interesting place. Squid and octopus seem to be the uh, cuisine of choice here in Osaka. But yeah, look at this. I mean, it's just fascinating. Look, you can shoot guns in here. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I understand why people like Osaka is uh, people's favorite city here in Japan because it's so so interesting. So look, we've got Spider-Man up here climbing a clam. Like, not joking. Spider-Man climbing a clam. And we've got a dragon head over here sticking out as well. Oh, Kobe beef. Okay, this is hilarious, but I've somehow drifted right back to where my apartment is. Like, feels like a blur. Like, okay, down here is Dantonbury. I'm a 13 minute walk away, and I'm somehow, I think, very close to my apartment. This whole area is just like a big uh, blur. I need to double check, but guys, look at what I found. Sriracha in a vending machine. You can't even make this up, guys. Is this real life? Wow. I don't even know what to say. 700 yen, which is not that expensive at all. Like maybe five dollars. Wow. Okay, there has to be like a hole in the wall ramen spot or something like that around here. Okay. So isn't this interesting? So I'm pretty sure you order here. And then, I don't know. Okay guys, so I think you order from the vending machine, you sit down, and then they serve it to you. Okay, so what do I get, what do I get? Oh, they do have Kieran. Okay, okay, okay. Uh... Oh boy, I don't know, guys. I don't know what to do.
Alright, so I also got Roman, and I had to translate to uh, select, but it should work out. And here's the chicken, so let me dig into this. Oh my god. So here it is, piping hot. This whole meal only cost me around, I think, $10. So beer, chicken, ramen, really good value. I feel like this is going to be spicy. Oh yeah. Oh yes, that is spicy indeed. Now that is an incredible ramen spot. The noodles were very thin, almost like a uh, instant noodle that you would get in a uh, top ramen. But uh, the broth was like insanely good, spicy. The chicken was insane. I might come back tomorrow before I leave. All right, folks, well, it's the next day here and I'm on the hunt for some omu rice. So I've had that in other parts of the world one time and it was really good, but I want to have it here in Osaka. I also need coffee. It's like 12.30. Okay guys, well I'm pretty sure I've had um, vending machines in just about every one of my <laughs> uh, to, uh, Japan videos, but I have never gotten a coffee from one of these machines and this seems to be very cheap. So, which one do we go with? I think these come out hot. We'll try one. I gotta get rid of my coins here. I mean look at this, this is getting insane. Okay, dumped a hundred yen in there. Now, what do we go with, guys? Okay. Rainbow Mountain Blends. This seems to be new. Rich taste and aroma. This one I see all the time. It's black. Um, but the premium's the same. I don't get it. The premium is the same. Uh... All right, let's go with the premium. Will it be hot? Will it be hot? Oh, it's cold. Oh. Okay, we'll have to try another one. I need to find a hot coffee. I don't really drink cold coffee, but let's give it a shot. Oh, it's sugary. Oh. Oh, it's a latte. Oh, it's good. All right, let me find another vending machine for a hot one. I have to say, this coffee is good. It's iced coffee, but I don't normally drink it. But wow, this gets the job done. It's uh, 24 calories. I can't read Japanese, but I'm assuming there's only four grams. I don't know. Wait, how many milliliters is this? Oh, I don't know. I can't imagine this is only 24 calories. I don't know where the milliliters are. Oh, maybe it is, I don't know. All right, I just walked one little stretch down and here's the heat pump, hybrid heat pump. Same machine, but it says hybrid heat pump. So let me try, let me try one of these now. I wonder if there's something on here that says it's hot or not. This one's good. This one's good. All right, let me put 100 yen in here. It's a low, uh, low barrier to entry. Okay, so this says iced coffee. So these, in theory, should be warm. All right, let's try the black. It's cold once again. Okay, well, that's my fate for today. Cold coffee. All right, let's try the black version. You know what? These really are not bad. They're only 100 yen, which is 75 cents, something like that. 150 yen's a dollar. I'm impressed. 
guys tell me, did I miss a button or something? I've seen online people can get hot coffee out of these. But maybe I missed a button or something, like maybe here. Or maybe there's some lettering. I don't know. I'm not sure. Just let me know. So I think you guys saw me walk through here multiple times yesterday. Oh my gosh, what is it? 12.44 right now is super happening here. These uh, pastries look amazing. Hello, sir. Look good. They look good. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's like super happening in here right now, guys. So side note, I'm somebody who really, I'm like a creature of habit, right? Like I really love a nice, good, hot Americano or coffee in the morning. But I gotta say, I just drank two of those uh, coffees from the vending machine. Cost me 200 yen for two, which is like a dollar fifty, so dollar seventy-five. So uh, might just start doing that for the rest of my time here in uh, Japan. Hello. Can I try tea? Okay. Okay. Sorry, let me uh, put this here. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Very healthy. Yes. It's a soybean tea. Yes. Soybean tea. Oh, it tastes really good. It's not too. Uh, hmm. It tastes very good. I don't know. It's like a. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Onegaishimas. All right. I'm sorry. Uh, arigato gozaimasu. Thank you very much. Oh, getting my Japanese mixed up here. But uh, oh, that was that tastes very good. I tell you guys, there seems to be like a serious pizza culture here in Japan. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, my favorite pizza in Asia, Pizza 4P, is a Japanese-owned uh, pizza spot. But this one has a line out the uh, out the door here. Looks good. Looks really good. So, I am very close to this Amu Rice spot, which I am very excited for. Seem it's like very easy for me to get lost here in Osaka the whole area is kind of blending together so i need to double check where i am i'm not in donsonbury i'm like below donsonbury but this is where is this near like namba namba grand kagetsu namba namba grand kagetsu is where i'm close to so that's also a notable place from what i've researched also take a look at these taxis here very interesting they're like relics I think Toyota uh, and I did notice there's a place called Toyota <laughs> on the way in here some of you are like dozing it but on the way in here from the Shinkansen you pass by Toyota the actual city place whatever is called Toyota and uh, you can see all the Toyota factories and signs on the way in here from Tokyo so I think there are like some retro Toyota taxis here uh, is what I've been seeing. Guys, well, I think this is it. Let me see here. Matching up the characters. Yes, that is it. Okay, second floor. So this is the Omu Rice spot that has very high reviews. So let's go in here and find ourselves some Omu Rice. Okay, so here it is. Uh, reasonably priced menu items. I think I'll go with the uh, rice omelet chicken cutlet. Alright guys, so here it is. Chicken cutlet at the rice. So, let me uh, get a chopstick here. So you can see in here, you got rice. So, I'm going to enjoy this and then we'll talk about it. So I have to tell you, that is a fascinating dish if you've never had omu rice which you've seen it you saw it on the video but there it is again it is very good it's like ketchup -y. it tastes like ketchup and it's like uh, but it's like a mild ketchup it's not the ketchup you're probably used to like in america it's like a mild ketchup sauce with an omelet that has rice in the middle and then this one came i got the chicken cutlet the chicken cutlet was very very good um, so yeah, you should try it. It's a, it's a very, very interesting dish. I should also say, that meal was only like $8. I got a oolong tea, an omelet rice, an omu rice with chicken cutlet. It was like $8. Now maybe I am just used to the American prices, but in America that would probably be a $15, $20 meal. Like all in, because you have to include tip and everything. There's no tipping in Japan. So 
I don't know. Dude, honestly, Japan is not as expensive as I thought. Um, many people complain about Japan being expensive. The accommodation, you're gonna pay more for accommodation in Japan than in, uh, you know, a Thailand or, you know, a, even a Philippines or a Vietnam. But the food is not that crazy. Like, the, the prices are not that bad. And as you've seen me do in many videos, if you really just wanna go cheap, you can get yourself a coffee, a hundred yen coffee, which is 75 cents. And, you know, eat from, you can eat onigiris from the uh, 7-Elevens. I mean, you can make it as expensive or as affordable as you want. Okay, this might be hard to tell based on the, my recent set of videos here, but this is not the same area. So, I don't know how many, I've lost count. Maybe like five different areas here where it's like a, I don't know, like a half enclosure, like a half enclosure with like a walking mall or a walking street here. Not like the walking streets you would see in Southeast Asia, obviously, but like, uh, you know what I'm saying. It's almost like an indoor boardwalk. And it's, uh, I just keep finding these. It's so interesting. Here's a darts bar. Ah, so much fun here. So much fun. Now this is near the uh, famous uh, place that I said before, which is like a theater. It's, um, it's called Namba Grand Kagetsu, which is like right around here. So I plan to just like look at the outside, but it's basically like a drama theater. And I think you can watch like a traditional play there. Okay. And so here it is. The Kagetsu, Grand Kagetsu. It's a theater here. I think this is a Christian walk. It's like a cross. Okay. Okay. I think they were uh, carrying crosses in Japan. Uh, let me know. Is there a Christian sect here in Japan? I know there's uh, Zen Buddhism because I just or Japanese Buddhism. I just uh, went and looked at, but I don't know about the uh, Christianity here. Well, it's been a strange 24 hours here in Osaka. Every time I tried to finish this video out, it started raining, thundering, lightning. So, I've pretty much been relegated to these uh, walking strips, medians, whatever you want to call them. I'm failing to come up with a name for them. So, I think I will end the video here. I will come back to Osaka, but basically, my sort of uh, take on Osaka is that this is an incredible place if you are a foodie. Especially if you like anything connected to culinary, anything connected to food. And there seems to be a whole heck of a lot of gambling here. All right, pachinko, slots, even the vending machines are gambling. This guy was only 100 yen, but you walk down one vending machine over, it's 130 yen. There's this like interesting thing about like chance here in Japan, but definitely in Osaka. So thank you so much for being here. I would ask you to hit subscribe and like this video. It would really help me out and I'm going to certainly be talking to you again soon. Peace.